Today's tutorial is on how to use Mendeley to cite references in Word. So if you're excited, let's dive right into it. If you're new here and are looking for tutorials on academic and research tools, simple tips and hacks to make your academic life easier, a vlog for discussing academic issues from an African perspective, then this channel is for you and so be sure to hit the subscribe button by the end of this video. Now back to today's objective. So today we're going to learn how to use Mendeley to cite references in Microsoft Word or LibreOffice. So before we start off, you may want to check that you have the Word plugin installed on your computer. So to do that, you, have, you go to your Mendeley desktop app, go to Tools, and then check for install MS Word plugin. So I have an install here because I already have it installed. So if you don't, click on it and follow the steps to install it. And let's move on to the next step. If you follow the steps rightly to install the Mendeley Word add-in, in Windows you will find it under References. And you'll see the Mendeley icon here where you'll see the Mendeley cy Cytomatic ribbon. I read that in Mac you'll find it under add-ins. I don't use a Mac so I'm not sure about that. So you'll want to check but it's not hard to find on your Word um, software. So assuming that we have this block of text and paragraphs that we want to insert citations it's very easy to reference citations in Word if you have the Mendeley add-in installed. To do that, you place the cursor wherever you want to, in to insert the citation. Then you click on Insert Citation. When you click on it, this window pops up. Now it tells you to search by author, title or year in my library. And it's very easy. You can just type any section of the title of the paper you're, you're thinking about inserting or the author or the year. So let's say I want to insert something on measles. If I type measles and I wait a bit, depending on the size of your library, it will take time, but you'll see the papers pop up. And because I'm not specific, you have a lot of papers showing up. So let's say I'm inserting the first one. If I click on it, that shows up. So when I click on OK, it takes some time, but then the citation is inserted. Congratulations, you've inserted your first citation into a paper. Now, this is inserted using the Harvard Elsevier referencing style, but you can always automatically change the referencing style by coming back to the references tab and under the Mendeley section, click on this arrow and you have some pre-installed styles already. So if you want to change the style, you can just click on the one that is required of you. For example, you want to use this one. When you click on it, it changes to that one. Did you notice that? Awesome. Now, if you don't find the style you're looking for, you can always click on more styles. And then you, you can search for the style you're looking for under using the search bar. So some journals are very specific on the style they want and you want to install the one they're looking for or your school has a different requirement from what is being stated here. So if you don't find the one you're looking for, you can go under more styles and search for it. When you search for it, you can download it or you can enter the URL for the style here and download it and then it will show up here. Then you can select it to change the style. So this is when you want to insert one reference. Let's try to insert another one somewhere here. So if I come here, I type, I click on insert citation. I want to insert something on rubella. I wait a bit, papers show up, I click on it. Then I insert it. That's the second reference. Now, if I want to generate the reference list for the ones I've inserted, I just need to place the cursor wherever I want to generate the bibliography list and then I click on insert bibliography. So beautiful. 
And the beautiful thing about this is that whenever I update the references that I'm inserting, this automatically updates. You can even title this your references section. And that is how you insert references in Mendeley. Now that is for the single case. So let's take for example, I don't want this reference anymore. If I delete it, then refresh, you see that it has been updated. What if I want to add two references after one sentence? What I can do is to insert the case wherever I want to insert them, the citations, click on it, search for the first paper, wait a bit, it shows up and then it says you can add more references. So I can add um, malaria, for example, that's if I have a malaria paper on my system. Good, I do. So you can add as many as you want and when you insert it, it will line it up nicely for you. Do you see it's changed um, the way it was formatted and do you see this was updated. Now I can change the style once again to something else and you see it's changed. So that's how you insert references. But what if I wanted to insert an extra citation here? I remember that I needed to add more citations to this one. So I come back, I go to insert and I say, I want to insert something on COVID, COVID-19. Okay, so I have my reference now. I insert it and now look, it, it, it's inserted but it doesn't look nice because it has to be merged like this into one, cite, one single citation. Now how do I convert this to look like that? What I can do is to highlight the list of references here, come back to the Mendeley ribbon, click on merge citations and there you have it. Now it's showing that I have two references. As usual, if that's not what I want for the style, I can change it and it immediately updates everything on the, uh, in the document for you. So that's how you insert single citations and double citations. Now, how do I remove a citation I no longer need and tell Mendeley to update the references list? To do that, you just click on the citations or the group of citation, click on edit citation, then remove the one you do not want. When you do that and you click OK, it will update for you. So if I remove, for example, manually remove this first one, as you can see, it's not updated yet. And when I click on refresh, it then updates. So that's how you remove references from it. Sometimes this method does not work. And what the best way to do that is to highlight all your references and click on refresh and Mendeley will automatically rearrange everything for you. So you realize that you do not need to do referencing manually. Don't do it. Use Mendeley. It's a very powerful free software and it makes referencing in Microsoft Word and LibreOffice really easy. All these things I've outlined, I did it in Windows and I'm sure it's not that different in Ubuntu or in Mac. I would like to leave you with some pattern tips as well. Always ensure that the citations you're trying to insert are up to date. You can always do that by, go by going back to the Mendeley desktop app. Click on the citation and right click on it and click on update details. When you do that and you have the internet, Mendeley searches online and ensures that everything is up to date. And if it's not so, then you may want to update it and edit it yourself and insert the right citations into your paper or into your thesis. As you realized from this simple tutorial, Mentally is a very powerful free software that can be used to make referencing very easy in Microsoft Word and you don't have to suffer to do it manually. And so I'm urging you to try the, some of these soft free softwares like Mendeley, Zotero and all of the others. And if you, if you got to this tutorial without seeing my previous tutorial on the tips to make you an advanced user of Mendeley, then you may want to check it out on my channel and I'll provide the link in the description below and above this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button 
And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe because your subscription means a lot to me and it encourages me to make more of these videos. I would like you to also share this with your friends and comment in the comment section if none of these were new to you or you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.